Hey guys, Jack here. I'm gonna do a mail day today. Um, yeah, it's gonna be some stuff I got in the mail. It's not gonna be an incoming and outgoing just like last time. You know, maybe I can do it like that. Sure, I could do that. Actually, now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into the stuff I got in today. Um, all the stuff came in today except for two of these did not. So uh, yeah. So this came in on Sunday, Saturday. I bought this like a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago. A uh, Nico Horner Gold Rookie from 2020 Top Series 1. Uh, number 1441 out of 2020. Um, this was like 20 bucks. I like Nico a lot. He's fast, plays good defense, has good hit tool, and he bulked up a lot over the offseason. So I think his power, he's going to reach like reach his power. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be 23. He's turning 23 uh, in two days on the 13th of May. And he plays for a big market. I think this guy's got great potential. I think he can eventually, might even end up being, I think he's good enough to be the number one rookie in this class, you know, years, if you look a couple years down the line. And this, you know, there's some good rookies in this class. Bichette, Jordan, Lux, Aquino, I guess. Some of the really good pitchers. And then presumably Adele and Robert if we start the season. But yeah, I have a lot of faith in Horner. Uh, this... Well, just because... Well, I'll show this one next. This one next. That one has a small corn thing, so I probably won't grade it. This one I might grade. This was like two bucks. It's a rookie of Tiki Barber from 97. Yeah, 97, you know, the Metal Universe. I got the Marcus Allen. I've been picking up some of these. And I figured Tiki Barber, you know, this card... It's not a sweet design. Got the uh, wave. It's a rookie card of Tiki Barber, and he was a great back for the Giants. And I figured this uh, if these cards don't go up in value that much... At least this is a PC card, too, for me. I mean, I have a small PC of Giants that were on the Super Bowl teams, and I don't think he was actually on the Super Bowl teams, but I'll throw this into the PC, too. So, yeah. By Super Bowl teams, I mean the 07 and 11. I don't think he was on the 07 team. I believe 06 was his last year, but still, close enough. So, But it looks good enough to grade. Might, uh, either an 8 or an, with an ounce of chance at a 9. It looks actually pretty good at the back. This corner is not perfect, and neither is this one. But the other ones are good. The edges are good. The surface is good. On the front, it looks pretty good. These two corners, you know, they're a little iffy. So I say it has an eight or a nine, which for this set is pretty good. And I feel this is just a really sweet card. Um, this one, with the recent rise lately of all these superstars and like LeBron early cards, even we've seen rise in Kevin Durant early cards and football Brady early stuff. Um, and bat baseball Mike Trout early stuff. I was thinking. Who's another star that really hasn't taken off yet? And I looked at it, and I was like, and I was like, huh, this guy really, his early stuff hasn't really taken off. Peyton Manning, rookie stuff, you know, some stuff sells for a lot, but I mean, I was looking at second year stuff. You can get some nice cards for really cheap. I picked up, I believe, another one of these, actually. Um, but this is the 1999 Donruss Elite Power Formulas. Really sweet cards. I picked this up for under 5 bucks. It's numbered 683 out of 3,500. Uh, it's got a little bit of white on the back right here, on this edge in this corner. So probably a 9 if I got it graded, but I th I'm okay with that, so I think I might get this graded. I think these cards have huge potential, just based on what we've seen from other superstars. Early stuff, spiking. Crazily, I think this has potential to be, you know, $25, $30 card, if not more, ungraded, because, I mean, they're numbered, and, you know, 3500 a lot. But think about this, for the 90s, that's, that's, not, that, that's not crazy. And it's a sweet looking card, Peyton Manning second year stuff. Uh, I occasionally watch PSA Collector on here, his videos. Especially his recent mail days, if we call him the low hanging fruit. And so it kind of got me thinking like, the second year Peyton stuff is great value. So think about Brady. You can't pick up early number cards for him for five bucks. LeBron, uh, over the past like 20 years, all the biggest stars in sports. Aaron Rodgers, probably not. Um, Breeze, I don't think you can. So I think it's because he's out of the spotlight now. You know, you look at other guys like in baseball, Trout, no way. You know? So, yeah. And soon he'll be in the Hall of Fame, probably, I think, believe next year. He'll be on the ballot, so, yeah. It's a nice card, too. Um, and next is a couple of lots I bought. So this was a Jeff Kent lot. It was under 10 bucks shipped for, I believe, 20 rookie cards of him. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five of these Pinnacles. Rookies, none of these look good enough to get graded. Yeah, I believe it was under ten bucks, maybe like eight bucks shipped. Um, actually, actually, I'll look it up. Whatever. 
purchase history on eBay. I don't think there's anything really private here, no. Well, you guys can see some stuff I bought recently, actually. But yeah, this was seven eighty three for these bad boys. It is actually definitely showing some stuff. I bought these on Friday. That's gonna be coming in soon. I bought a good amount of stuff recently, but uh, you know these Jeff Kent rookies. I mean, it was a lot of thirteen. So I five of these. So that means it's what eight of the uh, of the other ones. But yeah, I figured for what around two but uh, fifty cents a piece. Jeff Kent's gonna he has a chance outside chance at the Hall of Fame next year. So he's been trending upwards. I know some people like him, especially like Christopher Russo is in love with him. I believe he's one of the only second basemen to win an MVP, especially in the modern era. Besides Altuve, I can't really think of anyone else. So uh, yeah, I mean you know I say modern era in the past like 20, 25 years, 30 years, but I think these have at least for fifty cents. I was in a little bit of a kick for. Hall of Fame rookie cards recently. And we have a bunch of these Don Russ, uh, the rookies. Some of these look good. Yeah, actually, I still have a lot of stuff incoming. Yeah, the uh, the Barber was, was two forty nine, dollars The Peyton was four twenty nine. dollars um, Yeah, actually, I actually have a bunch of stuff incoming still. The Nico was $20.78. So, but yeah, these are pretty sweet. Here, I'll show this. This is a COMC, just my cart right now have a bunch of stuff in there but yeah none of them look good for grading one of them I almost looked good enough one of I believe it was one of these uh one of these Don Russes a lot of them were offset but one of the Don Russ the rookies looked okay but uh one of the corners was messed up but uh yeah I'm really also be looking out to looking to pick out pick up some of the Fleer update Jeff Kent's because that's his main rookie card so yep uh this was a lot of Chipper Jones rookies 1991 Upper deck. I've been looking to pick up, especially with the recent spike in rookie cards. You look at uh, Barry Bonds and stuff has went up a little bit recently, but you look at guys like Griffey, uh, Thomas, their PSA rookie cards. Um, Pedro Martinez went up a lot, uh, and now recently with Sosa and Maguire because of the documentary that's going to come out. I was thinking about who are some other guys in then like pitchers. I'm not sure about, but hitters. Chipper Jones, 91. He has a bunch of rookies. I mean, he was a stud for years. One, a very pop, extremely popular player, huge name in baseball. I mean, his stuff is bound to rise. I mean, I got this lot of these are upper deck rookies. There is this is a lot of this was at, at auction, I believe, if I can find it. Yeah, a lot of uh, twelve of these, and it cost me fifteen dollars and six seventy nine cents. I've been looking at some oh, lots of these. I missed out just narrowly in a few, but yeah. But uh, I figured that this has to be a really good deal. Not either, not a really good deal. I mean, I got these for just over a buck a piece, a buck twenty, a buck ten a piece maybe. I don't know, uh, more than that, a buck twenty a piece. But I figured, you know, if any of these look good, I think these have a lot of potential to go up to at least like you know three bucks a piece for a card. I still, I remember selling the Topps rookies when I had those vending boxes I opened for around three to four dollars a piece. I think that's pretty low. I looked at them, uh, a problem with these, centering was a problem, 91 upper deck, but for the most part, a lot of them were like decently centered, some of them were off centered, and then the corners, you have to look with, I looked at my, my loop, jeweler's loop, and only one of the 12 looked good. This one was, I believe, shipped kind of poorly. Yeah, this was shipped inside of a double bubble mailer, but they were all just in sleeves inside of cardboard, like thin cardboard, so... The Jeff Kent lot was shipped terribly. They were like flying around in there. Which, so that's not good. Two of them were in top loads, the rest of them were in sleeve. They were flying around. This one I believe was shipped okay. The Peyton Manning, actually, I have to say, this one was not shipped good. Their card was, had no. I prepare these all how I'm going to prepare them before I do the video. So, like, these weren't shipped in these holders and whatever. None of these were shipped in the holders that they're in. But this guy was not, in no penny sleeve in a card saver. And it was half the card was sticking out of the card saver. Not half of it, a little bit, like. Maybe just up to his name was sticking out of the card saver. So that's not good. But, uh, yep. So we got that. And next, this is a pretty big lot. Um, it's actually three separate lots I bought from one guy. Because he said he combined shipping. It's all of these. And t the order total was 35-30. He had another lot he offered me, but I said no. It was a lot of 41 Jeff Bagwell cards, 21 King Griffey Jr. cards, and 15 A-Rod cards. Let's get into it. Let me show you, uh, 
here's Bagwell and then Griffey. So Bagwell, I bought this because I, I was looking up Bagwell rookie cards and that's when I saw this. So we got uh, some of these second year tops right here. There's some base Bagwell second year tops. Um, pretty cool, the top's gold. Just some Bagwell base from the mid 90s. A, a gold, this one almost looked good enough to grade but had a small corner problem. Uh, gold rush from score. Silver script, Team 2020 Pinnacle. Pretty cool Gallery of Stars, second year Bagwell. And his rookies that are 91. Pretty cool studio rookie here. Um, this almost looked good enough. This is a second year finest, 94. Second year of the finest product. The, this corner was messed up a little bit. And here we're going to the bunch of Bagwell rookies. Similar to Tripper. I think Bagwell has a lot of potential. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the upper deck. 91, same problem as the Tripper. Um, a pretty cool electric diamond here. From 94. These are really sweet. The tops traded rookies. This one has good centering, but it's got a problem here. The surface, see? This one has really good surface and everything besides. Eh, this one's just not that good condition. But yeah, tops traded bagels. I think those have potential. And then we have four of the Bowen rookies with the little MVP thing. They all have that. These ones, uh, unfortunately, none of them look good enough to grade. Two of them were off center and two of them had corner problems. But you think, like, uh, you know, I think Bagwell rookies have a lot of potential too. Um, we have Griffey here. These are, I believe, all second year Griffeys. So we have um, some of the upper decks. Two, three, four, five, six upper decks. Um, two scores. A Don Rust. Some Diamond Kings from Don Rust. Um, three Fleers. A Leaf, which is pretty sweet. Very off centered though. And two of the Topses. None of those look good at the grade, obviously. Um, and then we get into A-Rod. These are PC cards, because I have a PC of A-Rod. He's one of my favorite players. The only Yankee I've ever liked, so. Um, 96 Collector's Choice, I believe this is. 94, so that's a rookie of A-Rod. Uh, yeah, here we go. A Swingman from 95 Pinnacle, 95 Score. 95 Score Hitters, Inc. These are pretty tough inserts. 90, what is this, 94 Upper Deck. Yeah, that's a rookie. 95 Collector's Choice, 94. These are 95s. This one's pretty cool. This has the gold foil on the back for the upper deck. It's an SP from 95, I believe. Yeah. I believe these are awesome. And then these are some 95 upper decks. Yes, yeah, 95 upper deck. The Star Rookies. So it's just some A-Rods for the PC. And then here are the cards in this lot. They look good enough for grading. So for 35 bucks, I believe this lot's a home run. I think there's at least, you know, seven, maybe not 70. That's a little overstatement. But at least, you know, 50, 55 dollars with the cards here. Before the cart, before the grading possibilities, so we got an A Rod ninety five rookie class from Collector's Choice rookie. I guess second year technically, but yeah, this is a really sweet Griffey right here from ninety Leaf. It's slightly off centered, but the corners and everything look really really clean. And these in a ten sell for like a hundred bucks. So second year Griffey Leaf cards, the Frank Thomas set. Um, a second year Griffey. This is a Don Russ. I mean, sorry, a Collector's Choice upper deck. This is just what the checklists are for Griffey for the Mariners second year. Ace and then finally a second year Griffey uh, upper deck base. And then we get into uh, the Bagwells. And three of the upper deck, there's three more upper deck Bagwells are all good enough for grading. So that's the stuff I got in over the past couple of days, guys. Some pretty cool stuff. I think, you know, good pickups right now, good value. Um, I guess I can go over what I sold recently. These are all from last night at about, I guess last night from midnight on to 7 p.m. tonight. So last night, Sunday the 10th from mid, uh, I guess from midnight on the 11th to 7 o'clock p.m. on the 11th. So uh, LeBron James X SPX base rookie, uh, base card from 0809 sold. This was 55 bucks plus uh, $3 shipping. This was a bunch of canvases from this year's upper deck. 